I forgot to show how to download setups in my last video, so I'm going to show it in this video. So just go to the, this is Liverspeed Web, and this is the Liverspeed website. And I'll also go to the page to show that this website, I'm logged in. You don't have to be logged in to access this. Go to Files. And this is an overview of car setups. This shows the popular setups that people have voted on and their times if they've uploaded a hot lap with that setup. And um, the most recent uploads. But uh, if you go here to car setups, it will show a grid. And these are the short tags for all the cars. And if you play the game enough, you get used to what each tag means. This is the Formula One car which is a real simulated car in the game. This is not a real car, but it's based on a Formula 2 car or something like that with a V8. This is based on a Formula Renault, not a real car. This one is the Formula BMW, which is different from the BMW Formula 1. This is a feeder series car that is, has an inline 4 engine. Um, it's a real car. Then there's this one. It's, it's a Finnish or Swedish or a Swedish car manufacturer. That's this car right here, the Raceabout. If you can look it up online, it's a real car. And then the rest of the cars are uh, fantasy cars based on real cars. And these, this is the list of all the tracks here, and, and you can see the grid it forms, the car, and the track. So if you go to BLGP, this is the demo track available in the, gem, the demo. Excuse me. Uh, XRG is the car that I drove in my last video. I'm going to click on that. And you have a list of all the most recent setups, or at least you know, this is all the setups available. It would show multiple pages, I think, if there's a lot more. But this is all of them. And these are the ratings. This has 19 views with a 4.78. This is 5 views with a perfect score with 5 votes. I'm going to download this one with 19, 19 votes. And you can just click on this gear here. It says Download Setup. And click on the right file. Go to your Lipper Speed file. Go to Data. Go to Setups. And if you look here, not BF1, XRG. Excuse me. Have the burps again. XRG, XFG. There it is. XRG is BL1. Right here. I've already downloaded this setup because I tried to record another video and it didn't record. I pressed the button, the button at the wrong time or something. Anyway, I've already downloaded this setup. I can save, replace it. No, it doesn't matter. Cancel. So I've already saved that setup. And now, now that I have the downloaded setup in the file, I can go to Hot Lap, or I could go to Single Player, whatever I want to do, go to Garage, and I can click on that setup. It's right here. And it shows the, the suspension, all the different, if I click on my, my setup versus their setup, you can see the differences real quick. You can see that it's, you know, the slider is changing. Um, let's compare them. I have a really stiff, this is a really stiff anti-roll bar, and they have an even stiffer anti-roll bar in the front and in the rear. I already drove this car. It's um, more stable than my car, but it snaps. It's not a violent snap, but it, it snaps loose in the rear. So wait, did I load the right one? Yeah. So I'm going to drive it. Make sure I don't touch the keys with my keyboard. Put on my gloves. And now I can just drive the car. that simple. So if you're having trouble on a racetrack, at least in this game, you can just download a setup somebody has proven their time on and shows the time that they did it on. Right? So they, they're able to drive this car at that speed. You can just drive the set, same setup that they drove. It's real simple.
their gearing is a little bit different than mine. I wouldn't be in fifth here. Their car stops better than mine. It's more stable on the brake. And under this understeering though, I went third. That's why. I'm usually, I'm used to shifting down two gears instead of three gears there. That's why. But uh, their cars uh, set up more for understeer. Not really understeer, but stability, I should say, because it doesn't necessarily understeer. If I ride the brakes through the turn, it'll understeer, of course. But uh, it's more stable than mine. Let's go through this next corner. It's actually really nice. Really nice setup. It's just different from mine. I slid a little bit too much there. So it's, it's very, very faint difference. But uh, when the car breaks loose in the rear on throttle, it snaps loose more than mine. But it's very, very faint. Anyway, that's that set up. And another valuable resource that you can use that I didn't talk about in my previous video is you can download replays. If you go on to back to Live for Speed World, liveforspeedworld.net, and you can log in as a guest. You don't have to log in with your account. You can go to the hot laps chart. I'm gonna close this so you can show so I can show that it shows up that page. Hot laps, hot lap chart. You can click on the car. XRG, Blackwood, it's already clicking on Blackwood, and I'm back to the same page. And I can click on his uh, his lap time here. And it will bring up this page, a single player replay, and I'm already in that file, the speed data SPR. And just like the setup, I've already downloaded this one. Didn't show it. Anyway, I already downloaded this one. Oh, anyway, so it shows it right here, down here on the bottom. Uh, I downloaded it already. And I don't know why I downloaded it again. Whatever. Um, and I can go back into the game and watch the replay. So there is, so it's a copy, as the one showing that it's a copy. And click on either one, it'll be the same replay. And now I can watch this uh, USAF fan, or maybe an active duty or, or bad veteran, I have no idea, who knows. Likely just a fan, but that's just an assumption. They like camo and they like the USAF. And I can watch exactly what they do and change the views to different view positions in the car. To see how they drive. And with this view, which is thing is can change position of the camera. Put all of them on it. As they would say in the UK, I should just say hood, I'm an American. watch exactly what they do around the track just to see where they're improving their where how you can improve based on how they drive the track and that's it till the next one